In today's video, I'm going to show you a few things you can repurpose for your farm. Now, here's the thing. This video gets extremely random. So, in one part of the video, I could be talking about things you can repurpose for your garden. And in another part of the video, I could be talking about things you can repurpose for your chickens. Let's get into it either way. So the first one I really want to talk about is repurposing some different stuff to put in your garden. So, if you really want to, like, repurpose, like, I don't know, like, let's just say, like, you have, like, a black pipe that you're going to use for a project, I don't know, back in... 1992 but it's still laying in your yard and it's so old that it's basically worthless well it's no it's not worthless after you see this video so if you have like if you're running like a little garden in your suburban town that doesn't have a lot of room and you just really want to have more space they could repurpose different stuff like you could like cut this thing in half this black pipe or whatever the hell this thing is cut it in half and then you can attach it to a thing like you like fill it up with dirt put some small root plants in there I've seen people grow strawberries in this thing so it's really amazing just repurpose the sort of stuff so you can put that stuff up there and you could also repurpose like if you have like chickens like you can repurpose their feed bags cut a hole in that thing fill it up with dirt and grow some plants in that there are so much things that you can repurpose in your garden like you can literally just like repurpose like a bunch of this like pipe like you just have like I don't know let's just say for some random reason you have I don't know like over 2,000 feet of pipe in your sitting in your backyard that you just really want to put to use you can build an irrigation system in your backyard so you can automatically water your garden all you need to do is just turn on like the hose system which is down there and that's all you need to automatically water your garden usually for like two or three hours a day obviously the most obviously it'll turn on at different times but it's certainly something really cool and it definitely will need to be hooked up to a hose to work so that way since it'll be connected to like a hose pipe it'll be really helpful to repurpose this sort of stuff and if for some really odd reason you have cages like this with like stuff on it just rip that stuff off and turn that into broccoli cages it's that simple now flinging right over to chickens now here's something we we can really get like a good glimpse on and sort of stuff so let's get a good glimpse on the sort of stuff now i just really want to bring up their chicken coop because this is the house they're going to be in for so if you have like a really old trailer on your property and you really have like a bunch of tractors that you could use to move your chickens in that is a really cool idea to just like rip off the trailer part, leave the like framing of the trailer on so that way you can attach the coop to it. That is exactly what we did. And it doesn't actually take that much skill to build as long as you know how to use stuff. As long as you're very cautious since you will need to rip off some metal and that does require a tool that does spark. And yeah, it's pretty jump scary, so jump scare warning there. And here's another thing that you can add to your yard. DIY stuff that you can put in your yard so I'm gonna bring you right over to right next to the chicken coop we're gonna find this DIY feeder now this was built probably in five minutes I bet you could do it even quicker so what you're gonna use you're gonna need to take these two by fours right here you're gonna cut them so that way they're small take a PVC pipe right here you wanna got like you're gonna cut angled grooves into this thing so a semicircle on both sides and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to attach this thing and then use that semicircle you cut out and attach it to this PVC pipe right here. And you just literally made your, oh, chicken burger, I'm not a rooster, oh my god. And you're going to want to cut that sort of stuff out and you literally just made yourself something you could probably make if you're about to go on a trip and you wake up early enough, you can make this thing in five minutes. And it's something really easy to do. In fact, I'm actually refilling that as I filmed this part of the video right now too. Yeah, it's, it's something really amazing, and it's really simple to work. And yeah, there's another thing I'm going to talk about, too, and it's building a DIY roost on your chicken yard. Obviously, they're still going to take to those roosts in their coop, but sometimes in the day, they just really want to, like, roost. So a great spot to do that is in their yard. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to take two cinder blocks, evenly space them apart, make sure there's plywood. And you're going to take that plywood, and you're going to make sure that sticks out on at least one side. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take another piece of plywood and you're going to attach it so it can be pulled out. 
and you literally just made yourself something you could probably make in under a minute. A simple DIY roost for your chicken yard. All you're gonna need is two cinder blocks and some, and some thicker and thinner pieces of plywood. It's that easy, and that is something so easy to make that literally, like, almost anyone can make this sort of stuff. If I find that sort of stuff around the property, I could probably even make this, like, scrap wood. Like, that's how easy it is to just make this sort of stuff. It's so easy to just DIY make this sort of stuff. And then, like, if you really want your chickens to have, like, a hideout or, or something, then what you really want to do is you're going to want to, like, make something like this. So, so I'm not sure if you could tell because this is full of grapes. These are, I don't know if these are the grapes that you want to be having. A few years ago, there was a bunch of blackberries on this farm. I hope we have another season like that again this year. So you go in here, there is um, wood. It's old and it was already provided, but you can make one of those yourself. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just let nature take care of that. And over the course of, I don't know, like two to four months, there's going to be a bunch of weeds that are going to grow around there. And there, you literally just made yourself a simple hideout, which you probably only took 30 minutes of your life to build. And nature took the rest. That is less DIY and more sort of geared towards nature, but it is still something super easy that you could easily make and throw together at like last second. Now, if we live on farms, we likely have dogs, you know, whether you have them as a guard dog or just a dog in general, that's literally like the most common pet. I have dogs myself. I have two dogs, a small one and a large one. So, of course they're gonna need a yard to sit in, but like we used to have like these leashes because we didn't have this. So, we just repurposed a bunch of garden trellises and made, we made this simple yard right here as connected by this. You can make this in a few hours, not that hard. As long as you have this sort of stuff like metal and even, and I think these curved parts are made by our bean trellises from last year. As long as, you have a, as long as you have a few posts and a gate, you're all set to go. Because this metal is super easy to get. I don't know how much money it is, because I didn't help contribute to this project, but it is something that you could easily get. And it's something that will be super helpful and especially helpful for you, because like we have a fireplace, we have a yard right there, and this is also where, it, and this is also where that giant ass camp out took place well over a year ago now. I'm gonna talk about this last one, which is a pretty big one. Now this is for those that really just wanna raise young chickens. I could have put this in the chicken section, but I didn't wanna walk all the way out here during filming because that's just stupid and that's just more work for me, the editor. And well, here's the thing about this. So if you really wanna raise them out eh, outside of your house, we raise them up on our attic, but you could raise them like out here in the barn, which does have electricity. And what I would do is I would build a DIY brooder for them. And you can literally repurpose a bunch of stuff to make this. Hell, the title of this video is about repurposing stuff. So if you have like some scrap boards, like just like scrap whiteboard, you can put that in there. And then like if you have some other scrap wood there, you can also put that in there. It is so easy to just take scrap wood and make it into something well completely different. It is so incredible just how easily we can make this sort of stuff. Well, it's so easy that basically anyone can do these projects. This is a bunch of repurposing that I taught you how to do today. And if you want a part two, I will give you the chance for an easy part two. 40 likes and I will do a part two. My ambitious goal for a part four of my don't do, do this to your chickens is 250. I am not doing 250, I'm not doing 100. So it's a little easier to get to. As long as that video can blow up a little bit more, I'll do a part four. Easy as that, subscribe to this channel. I really hope this channel does lead in a direction where I can start to earn a little bit of income off of this channel. I can't yet, I still need a long way to go before I get that stuff. So the easiest way to help out this channel is to like and subscribe, and also, and also to binge watch as many videos as you possibly can. Like, you can literally be about to like go to work and you can literally just like, put this on like the background. It's not even that hard. Let's end that video off on that.